thoughts. Say it often, meditate on it, and as you hold to that intention, by the law of attraction you must become that. Be grateful for what you have now. If everything is the one universal mind, and the whole of it exists everywhere, then it is all in you. You cannot harm another with your thoughts, you only harm you. The daily practice of gratitude is one of the conduits by which your wealth will come to you. The law began at the beginning of time. It has always been and will always be. Decide what you want to be, do, and have, think the thoughts of it. Every man knows that when his wife is appreciating him for the little things that he does, what does he want to do? He wants to do more. It's always about appreciation. It pulls things in. It attracts support. Emit the frequency, and your vision will become your life. When you say I am, the words that follow are summoning creation with a mighty force, because you are declaring it to be fact. You are stating it with certainty. When you think about and feel those good things that you want, you have immediately tuned yourself to that frequency, which then causes the energy of all those things to vibrate to you, and they appear in your life. See the things you want as already yours. Think of them as yours, as belonging to you, as in already in your possession. You are also attracting like thoughts to you. And they magnetically attract all like things that are on the same frequency. You create your own universe as you go along. Winston Churchill Take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., 1929-1968 The only thing standing between us and a life filled with joy and everything we want is our very own self. Mightiest force because you are on the highest frequency possible. The greater the love you feel and emit, the greater the power you are harnessing. The great secret of life is the law of attraction, as it is also called the law of creation. In other words, life is not happening to you, you are creating it. You cannot create other people's lives for them. Beliefs about aging are all in our minds. So release those thoughts from your consciousness. Focus on health and eternal youth. The law of attraction is giving you what you are thinking about, period. Creation is always happening. Every time an individual has a thought, or a prolonged chronic way of thinking, they're in the creation process. Something is going to manifest out of those thoughts. If you only do one thing with the knowledge of the secret, use gratitude until it becomes your way of life. We tend to fight everything we don't want, which actually creates more of a fight. Remember that no matter what the difficulty is, no matter where it is, no matter who is affected, you have no patient but yourself. You have nothing to do but convince yourself of the truth which you desire to see manifested. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors for you where there were only walls. There's enough for everyone. If you believe it, if you can see it, if you act from it, it'll show up for you. That's the truth. Do you treat yourself the way you want other people to treat you? Your life is in your hands. No matter where you are now, 
No matter what has happened in your life, you can begin to consciously. The essence of this law is that you must think abundance, see abundance, feel abundance, believe abundance. Let no thought of limitation enter your mind. You attract to you the predominant thoughts that you're holding in your awareness, whether those thoughts are conscious or unconscious. That's the rub. The first step is to ask. Make a command to the universe. Let the universe know what you want. The universe responds to your thoughts. Everything you want is an inside job. The outside world is the world of effects, it's just the result of thoughts. Decide right now that you are going to think only good thoughts. At the same time, proclaim to the universe that all your good thoughts are powerful, and that any negative thoughts are weak. One way to master your mind is to learn to quiet your mind. Without exception, Every teacher in this book uses meditation as a daily practice. It wasn't until I discovered the secret that I realized. Every thought of yours is a real thing, a force. Prentice Mulford, 1834-1891 Life can be absolutely phenomenal, and it should be, and it will be, when you start using the secret. To become aware of your thoughts, you can also set the intention, I am the master of my. It is the combination of thought and love which forms the irresistible force of the law of attraction. Charles Hano.